now I'm gonna see what I uh, how I messed up with the uh, the order of things. I'm gonna try putting on that exhaust manifold there. Alrighty, let's see what we can do. Alright, I've got the rightmost stud installed here. Uh, I'm gonna drop this gasket onto here. I know there's only one stud. Just bear with me. And now I'm gonna see if I can fit the manifold into position. Pull the distributor and the uh, <coughs> thermostat off. Alrighty, try number two. We're going to install the exhaust manifold now. Hopefully, this will work. Let's just get this piping all in the right place. that into position basically there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you guys can see that good. Now I'm going to install this stud through the gasket there and into the head. Ah, sweet. Alright. So that's working good now. Alright, so now I got all the studs installed except for that last one. But uh, it really doesn't look like it'll be too bad. So the trick here is, uh, if you're in the same predicament as me, uh, install the rightmost stud, install the gasket, install the in or the exhaust manifold after the intake runner. Um, I guess it wouldn't be a problem if you didn't have the EGR pipe on. I, know, I left that on. Um, then swing everything into position, install the rest of the studs, and let's see, I think I should be able to install that last one now. So here we go. Just reach in there, and uh, yeah, it started threading in. So now I just need to get a, a little extension on there, and so I can get the ratchet. Oh yeah, I'm using a five millimeter uh, six point socket instead of uh, a inverse Torx because I don't have one. It was working just fine. Sweet. Whew. There we go. I was a little bit worried there. Alright, well now I can go around and tighten all these uh, 8mm bolts that hold it to the head. Alright, the intake is all bolted on. So now I get to have fun with electrical plugs and, and uh, what's it called? Vacuum lines. So pretty much you can do the same thing now. Okay, now that I got that mess sorted out, I'm going to reinstall the thermostat housing, thermostat thing, and the distributor. So let's do that. Once that's done, you can reconnect coolant hoses and electrical plugs and things of that nature. Okay, so where the EGR pipe connects to the intake manifold, 
there's a gasket there that we need to install, which is this one. And then we need to install these two bolts. So, what I'm going to do is insert the bolt into the hole here. Then pull this part. Ah, oh, shit. I dropped the gasket. <laughs> Don't drop the gasket. So once you have the crank at TDC, you can line the cam up with TDC. That little pointed piece right there on the cam sprocket should line up with a dot in the cylinder head, which you can see right there. And that's when the cam is at TDC. And when both of them are at TDC, you can just slip the belt right over. And then, we can just stick an 8mm Allen into the, uh, the recess and the tensioner. And then pull the little drill bit out. And, slowly, let tension back onto the belt. Simple as that. Sweet. Now we're going to install the valve cover. So we have our new valve cover gasket sitting there and our new valve cover not new but uh, freshly painted okay so we're a few steps farther ahead uh, if you want to see how to replace how to install the uh, the timing belt and uh, the tensioner and the, the accessory belt and all that stuff just look at the video for time how to replace the timing belt or how to replace the accessory belt alright so let's move on to the uh, the air intake and the battery tray. Okay, so the battery tray pretty much drops into position here. Once it's in the right place, you can thread in the bolts. Now we can install the, uh, the air box. Slides down into position. Snaps into a couple little snaps there. Drop in the air filter. Let's place that in position. Then you can install the air box lid. Just slide it over the throttle body opening. And then place it on top of the air box there. And you can tighten down the four bolts. Screw these in. And you can plug in the airflow sensor. Now we can drop this freshly charged battery in.